The scene is a small Texas town in the late 1890s. We see the town square filled with a group of the neighboring ranchers, and the sheriff stands with a condemned man in front of a hastily built gallows. As was customary in those days, the prisoner was asked whether he had anything to say. And he replied, All right, Mr. Sheriff, I thank you. I haven't got much to say. You all know what I did, boys. And the law says I must pay. But it's hard to hang by the end of a rope for killing a dirty crook. I didn't sneak up behind his back. I swapped him look for look. And I says to him, Joe, go to it. You've got your gun, so draw. He started his draw and I plugged him. Now I hang by this new Texas law. Well, all of you know why I killed him. He shot my boy like a dog, blew the smoke from his six guns and kicked him aside like a log. I told Bob Jr. repeated, son, watch that Lone Star Bunch. I didn't know anything certain uh, had a sort of hunch. But Bob was pretty headstrong, as most young fellers are, and he seemed to like Joe Akers. Joe ran that same Lone Star. I told Bob Joe was a tin horn. But he laughed right in my face till one night he caught him cheating and says, Joe, what about that ace? Well, Joe played his six guns handy, and he answered Bob with lead. Then he emptied the cash box pronto, and away through the night he fled. I got there two hours later. My pony dropped at the door. My poor Bob was beyond any helping. But o'er his corpse I swore that Joe would pay for that murder or God might damn my soul. Then I hustled hell for leather out to Rock Springs water hole. Six miles from here toward Deming, all of you passed it by. I didn't ride out a chasin', and here's the reason why. Under that rock at the bottom where the water comes bubbling round, there was a bag of bright gold eagles that would weigh mighty near ten pounds. I'd seen Joe Akers lifted one night, a while before. When he was gone, I tried it, and I found his treasure store. Well, I've done my share of sinning, but I never stole a dime, and I'm mighty glad my raisin held out for me that time. For there was a trap to catch him with a with a bag of gold for bait. And all in the world I had to do was just be ready and wait. I knew he'd come. Sure as shooting. That night or next week or next year. And I prayed, oh God, when he does come, let me be awaiting here. Well, he come. It was seven years later that God had answered my prayer. I saw him come and was ready. Now you all know what happened there. They found me guilty of murder, cold-blooded, the jury said. And they brought me here to hang me by the neck until I'm dead. Uh, I'm sure not sorry I killed him. I'd do it again today. The only thing I regret much is, well, having to go this way. To hang by the rope like a hoss thief. 
That's a pretty awkward play. Yeah, well, I, I thank you, Mr. Sheriff. I reckon I've had my say. Well, the sheriff spoke to the killer, and his eyes were kind of wet. Your hands ain't tied yet, partner. Would, would you have a cigarette? He, he stuck his hands in his pocket, and he, he kind of winked his eye. And old Bob grabbed the gun from the holster and died like he wanted to die. And that's the story of the Rock Springs Waterhole.